Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about uh, graphing polynomial function using tables. But first of all, let's take a look to the end behavior. And uh, at number five, we notice we have an exponent of three, which is odd. And the leading coefficient of negative seven, which is negative. And uh, these two things tells us the end behavior of this polynomial which is going to be left up, right down. You can hear it also like this, up, down. Um, and we can have pos uh, two turning points, two possible turning points in this case, but also you can have um, no turning points, something like that. Number six. Number six is not in the standard form, uh, but this, we can still see the largest exponent is six. The leading coefficient is negative. So even degree six, right? And uh, uh, leading coefficient negative of 15, that is negative. Uh, so what kind of behavior we have in this situation? In this situation, this uh, polynomial should look something like that, uh, left down, right down also, okay? And you notice this graph has three turning points, but you can have also five turning points, Dep depends, or one turning point. Number seven, and we look in here. This is in standard form, by the way, and we notice odd degree, 11, eight positive leading coefficients. So odd and positive. These two things give us this type of behavior, left, down, right, up. And again, uh, you see here two turning points, but you can have more than that. Number eight, number eight again is not in the standard form, but we can see uh, even degree 10, right? Uh, positive leading coefficient. Uh, these two things, um, nine, right? And that tells us the graph should look something like this. Left up, right up. Of course, you can have more than three turning points. The degree is 10. You can have even nine turning points. Okay. Uh, the last part of the video clip is going to be about um, the shape of the graph, which it kind of goes over, over uh, the end behavior, uh, turning points, and increasing and decreasing interval, right? So uh, in this case, the end behavior should be since this is odd and this is positive, it's going to be down, up. So left down, right up. Okay. I'm going to use a table to get a little bit more information. And here is nothing else than plug it in and use eventually a calculator. When I plug negative 4, I got negative 191. Wow, a big number, right? hard to graph. Negative 3, I got negative 81. Negative 2 goes over negative 25. Negative 1, 5, 0 goes over negative 3. That is easy, right? This is the y-intercept. 1 and negative 1, 2 and 19, 3 and 75, 4 and 185. So you notice, uh, even though the input are very reasonable, right? Negative 4 to 4, those axes, uh, the output is not that nice. So sometimes it's hard to graph this uh, polynomial function using uh, nice numbers. So for, in for instance, in this case, you may want to go and get more value between, um, let's say, negative 1 and uh, 2 or negative 2 and 2, uh, take a decimal and see how that works. Um, so it's not an easy task. So uh, what I did here, I graph it um, 
using uh, some computer algebra system and you can see the, the graph is pretty much uh, similar of the data I have and you see this left down right up with one turning point here decreasing here another turning point and then increasing back so uh, pretty much that is what number nine is about and number 10 number 10 let's take a look to number 10 uh, number 10 uh, add degree negative leading coefficient Uh, so that should tell us is the other way, right? Something like that, or maybe something like this uh, is going to be left up, right down. Okay, and again the same situation. We can we can get uh, some uh, uh, values for number ten. So this is for number 10, and I have here negative 4, and look at here, 527, very, very uh, unfriendly. Negative 3, 2013, negative 2, and 57, so not even negative 2 is a friendly one. Negative 1 and 5, hey, yeah, that's, that's not bad. 0 and 3, we knew it. This one, it's, look at here, it's that guy. 1 and negative 3. 2 and 67 and I can give you more but the idea here is yeah we use a table we can get an idea oh by the way we see here left up right um, and I'm sorry this is negative 50 67 and uh, right down in fact the graph is right here the next graph and you see it up down okay and we have two turning points. Now, if you talk, if you're going to take more math classes, you're going to find out that we, uh, these turning points can be found out using an algebraic method. Okay. Uh, then, we, yeah, the function is decreasing here, increasing here, decreasing here. Uh, so yeah, when x is uh, uh, less than, uh, let's say. 0.5, negative 0.5, the function is decreasing. When x is uh, between uh, 0.5 and uh, negative 0.5 and positive 0.5, the function is uh, increasing. So here, decreasing, increasing. And then when x is uh, greater than 0.5, again the function is decreasing. So those are the things that you should be, you should expect in an algebra cast uh, regarding increasing and decreasing interval. Be able to kind of estimate where the x coordinate of the turning points uh, are. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C square for more math video clips. Thank you.